Have you ever heard of the hook man? Um, the version that I grew up with was, um, it's like this couple there, they just got done camping. They're driving down a mountain. Um, the girl's freaked out and she's like gripping her seat and the guy's like, what's wrong? Are you okay? And she's like, um, I just can't get that hook man story out of my head. And he's like, what's so scary about a guy with a hook? And she's like, it's not that he has a hook. It's that he hunts you down and tries to take your hands. And he just kind of laughs and they keep driving and, um, they come to this part of the road that's like covered by the trees almost like um like a canopy i guess and it's super super dark um something jumps out in front of the car and they swerve and pull off to the side the guy steps out of the car so that he can make sure that he didn't hit something and if he did he can pull off the side of the road and while he's out there uh the girl hears this or something like that um and when he gets back in, she's like, why would you do that? You already know I'm scared. Like, that was messed up. And she, or he's like, I didn't do anything. I didn't see uh, and anything. I don't think we hit anything. So let's get going. So he tries to, like, turn the car back on and it won't turn over. So he's like, well, time to go pop the hood. Hopefully we can figure out what's going on and get back on the road. She's like, do you have to go up there? Like, I heard something. There's something out there. And he's like, there's nothing out there. I was just out there. And there's nothing. So let, let me just pop the hood and we'll get back on the road in just like a few minutes. So he goes out and then immediately comes back in because he forgot his flashlight. So he's like on his seat, reaching over to the back seat, trying to get his flashlight. And while he's leaned over, they both hear this. And he like looks up at his girlfriend and he's like, very funny. And she's like, what do you mean? I didn't do that. And he's like, yeah, you almost got me there. And she's like, why would I do that? Like, I'm the one who's scared here, not you. Why would I do that? And he just laughs and he goes outside and he's pops the hood up. And, um, like a few moments later, the girl hears like a scraping sound, like against the back of the car. And she jumps up and looks towards the back of the car and she sees a figure standing there. And well, not standing, it's walking towards the front of the car and the scraping sound is moving with it. So she obviously freaked out. Like she leans over and like pounds on the horn. The figure disappears immediately. And the guy, the, the boyfriend comes running around the side of the car. He's like, what the heck are you doing? And she's like, did you not see that thing coming towards you? And he was like, what are you talking about? There's nothing out here. And she's like, there was something moving towards you. And there was like scraping. You didn't hear the scraping against the car. And he's like, no, there's nothing out here. Don't do that. That's not funny. Let me fix the car. I see the problem. It should only take us a couple minutes. And we'll be back, back on the road. And she's like, okay, maybe it was just like a, my brain playing tricks on me. Um, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he goes back outside and starts working on the car again. And, um, a few minutes later, she hears the scraping and she looks up and there's nothing there. There's no shadow, but she still hears the scraping and it's going from like the back end of the car to the front. And it stops at the driver's side. And right when it stops, she hears this again. And she's about to go like pound on the horn again when she hears like a yelp like like almost like a scream but not quite and then like complete silence and she's like frozen she's like what the heck do i do because she was pretty sure that was her boyfriend so she like slowly opens her door and like peeks out around she's, like she's trying to see over like around the hood that's up in front of her and she doesn't see anything she steps out a little bit further and she sees that the flashlight like had fallen on the floor but there's nothing there's nobody out there and she's about to call her boyfriend's name when she hears something in the trees behind her. So she like bolts and gets in her car and um, locks the door behind her. <laughs> and um, almost immediately she hears this again. But this time it's not stopping. So she's like, what the heck do I do? Like, I don't know what happened to my boyfriend. And she just ends up grabbing a blanket and like huddling down because she's like, I'm not gonna run. Like, anytime any does that in any horror film ever, they die. So I'm just going to hunger down. Hopefully somebody either comes and drives by and sees the car on the side of the road or morning comes and she just hungers down and she stays put and that noise does not stop all night. So she stays put for that entire night and um, she finally eventually falls asleep and um, she wakes up to like a different knocking and someone's knocking on like the glass window above her. Wakes her up. She's startled. She sees like a cop and she like immediately relieved. She gets up and she... um. She's like, opens the door and she's like blubbering. She's like, 
I had my boyfriend with me. Did you find my boyfriend? He was out here trying to fix the car. I don't know what's wrong with the car. I didn't go out there because I was scared. I don't know where he is. Did you find my boyfriend? And the cop can't really understand what's going on. But he sees that she's wrapped in a blanket. And he's, like, trying to kind of, like, wrap it around her and, like, push her towards his car. He's like, it's okay. Like, your car's not going to work. I'm going to take you home. Like, let's just, let's just get in my car. So she's like walking down the road like still blubbering and then she sees that there's like five cop cars ahead of her and she's like what the heck what's going on so she turns around to try and see or like what's going on and she sees her boyfriend strung up to the tree that was above their car and that noise she heard all night that like banging was his foot tapping the car and she's like in shock and she's like what the heck like and she starts blubbering even more and the cop just kind of like keeps pushing along like it's okay like it's okay we'll just get the car we'll figure things out just get the car she collapses into the seat and then like um the the image is like burned how could it not be into her brain and um but she's like not processing it you know what i mean and i think it's not until she like gets down to the the station that she realizes that his hand is missing so yeah that was one version i'm sure there are many more um once again if you have a story drop it in the comments i'd love to read it catch you later